Adobe Slate is a visual storytelling application created for the iPad and it allows you to share stories that you create online. So here's an example of a story that someone's published online. It's about the endless ocean. So you see there's images, there's text, there's image grids that you can tap that behave like slideshows. And if I just scroll down a bit more, we've got full width images there, text overlays, links, and heaps more. So let's have a look briefly at how you create a new story. Start by tapping on the Create New Story option at the title for your story. And tap on the Add Subtitle. We'll leave the typos in there for now. Once that's done, I get to add the cover photo. Now I can grab that from a number of locations from Lightroom, Dropbox. I've actually got a folder on Creative Cloud that's got some images in there that we will use. Tap Open File. And for this particular image, I want to make sure that if the story is viewed on a portrait screen, I can kind of set the focus area so that that umbrella remains in place. I'm clicking on the lower right hand corner and I can now drag the focal point and preview in the top right hand corner and see how that would fit on a portrait scheme. And we can now continue with the rest of our story. So at this stage I can add some text. Now that's just body text, but you can also format your text with a heading level, heading one or heading two, as a bullet or a numbered list and so on. And if you want to have a look at different themes at this stage, just to get an idea for the text formatting and how your story will look online, click on the little magic wand or tap on the magic wand in the top right hand corner. And we're currently looking at this probably in crisp view. Let's have a look at Whimsy View. So much more playful fonts used in that case. And there's a number of other themes that you can select from. We'll grab Chronicle here. Now I've just noticed on that first page, they don't really like the position of my title. I'm going to tap and hold and move that to the top of the screen. And we'll continue back here. Let's add a photo grid now, and I'll add a photo grid that contains three images. So we'll grab that one there. We'll grab that one there. And we'll grab that one there. Open file. I'm quite happy with how this is placed, but if you're not happy with it, you can tap the little images, tap the trash can to delete them, hit the arrows to try and reorganize them so you get a slightly different looking grid. I'll push that back and I'll tap done and we we'll can add a caption here which is formatted slightly different again. And let's now add a link. Done. You can add another photo there. Let's grab one of the more colorful ones that we've got down here. And I have a choice now to either make that fill the screen, behave as a window, which means that your text areas and the rest of the page that you're creating will actually scroll over that and there's a number of other formats. Have a bit of a play with that and we'll add a caption over the top. So you can continue to add more and more content to your story until you're finished and then you might want to preview it first and have a look if there's anything that you still want to change. So you can check that that slideshow actually works. 
click close or tap close and then to publish your story you hit the top right hand corner and you fill up the prompts select the category author if you want to include that click continue and you'll end up publishing your story now I'm going to close that for a second and show you because I've actually got one for the user group here so if you have published a story publicly you can actually keep track of the number of views and how many people have liked a page as well and you can always edit that at any stage as preferred 